Hello and welcome to another week of new releases and sneak peeks. Um, before I jump on in, um, everything I have on my face will be listed in the description box below for you to check out if you wish to. I didn't film this look, um, but I did play with the Nomad Cosmetics Iceland Fire and Ice palette and this is she, how beautiful. So yes, if you would like to know what I have on my face, just have a look in the description box. So let me move, ooh, <laughs> move myself over. Um, okay, so the first thing I want to talk about today is from Made by Mitchell. And they're extending their liquid formula from blushes to bronzers. So they have the new Blurish Bronzed in eight shades, retailing for £16 each. That's British pounds. I think eight shades is a pretty good range. Um, yep, they're already available now. Um, having a look at these, I am very interested. I'm definitely very interested. I more than likely will wait for there to be a sale on um, before I pick any of these up. But I'm definitely really interested in them because I love the formula of the blush blush I love that so yes I definitely have my eye on this and yeah we'll more than likely wait for a sale yeah let me know if any of you are going to be picking this up and trying it out because uh, yeah be interested to find out what what you guys think of it then next up I really wanted to talk about this this is a new release from KVD Vegan Beauty and it is their The Planet Fanatic palette. Um, it's a palette that includes 14 shades inspired by the Earth's colours and elements. I can see that. Eight matte shades for a soft and glamorous look and six glitter shades. You can use them wet or dry. It's a vegan formula and the packaging is all fully recyclable. Um, what I really wanted to uh, to talk to you guys about is the packaging um now i really don't want to come across as mean but when i saw this it didn't i didn't think kvd beauty i thought claire's accessories something along those lines um hmm. so yeah i'm not really sure what i think about it but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, is this a packaging? Is this a packaging? Are you loving this packaging? Is it just me that sees Claire's accessories? Let me know. I'm going to move on. Um, the next reveal that I wanted to talk about, I'm actually really, really excited about. Um, because as many of you will know, I suffer with acne. And I love the Elf Putty Primers. Now, they have revealed the new addition to their putty primer family is the Acne Fighting Putty Primer. Now, this I am super, super interested in. It says it will be available June the 3rd on their website. Um, looks like it will retail for $9. Um, but yes, fingers crossed um, this will come to the UK sites. Um, because, yeah, I really, really want to pick this up. Yeah, definitely. I really would love to see if it works. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And then moving on, I have another collection which I I just think is super, super cute. And um, this is from Metamorphosis. Um, I recently acquired the Lily Croaks palette along with a cream blush and... A couple of single shadows so you will be seeing them coming up in a video soon um, if you're not subscribed and you want to see that then make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, also the notification bell so you don't miss that um, but this collection here is dropping on June the 4th 6 p.m. PST um, four matte creamy lipsticks retailing for $10.99, that's US dollars each. Uh, the Pink Squeaks eyeshadow palette containing 16 shades for $19.99. Uh, 
um, you can get the bundle for $59.99. Oh, <laughs> this is super, super cute. Super cute. Um, I don't think I'm going to be picking this up purely because I have to order from the UK. Um, the brand's based in America and it's not a colour story that that I'm going to go out of my way to to buy. I do think it is very on theme. With if you look at the like the packaging and then look at the colour story, you can see all of the colours. So I think that is fantastic. I love it when a brand does that. Um but yeah it's a very cute collection. Let me know if you're going to be picking this one up. So the next launch I really wanted to talk to you about is from Nomad Cosmetics and they have a new launch. Um, the launch date is June the 8th and oh, I guessed right so I'm really happy with that. <laughs> um, I guessed the Arches National Park, Utah. Yes, yes I was correct. Um, I am so excited to see what this palette looks like. We have been given one shade so far and it is a beautiful kind of bronzy shimmer. Absolutely gorgeous. And I love the formula of Nomad Cosmetics eyeshadows. As I've already said today, I am wearing the Iceland Fire and Ice palette. Um, I love it. Um, so I'm definitely, uh, I definitely have my eye on this. I am so excited to see what the palette looks like. So, so excited. Um, but yeah, let me know if you are excited too. Are you going to be picking this palette up? I really love Nomad Cosmetics. I love the travel theme. I just love how they, how they do the clues. It just really pulls you in and I love that. I love that. So yes, as soon as I have more information, i.e. a picture of the palette, I will let you guys know. But yes, very, very excited. So next I am mentioning Madage Beauty yet again. I seem to talk about them every week. There's always something going on over there. Um, but they have been working on bringing a new and exciting product collection from ZC Cosmetics to the site. Um, ZC Cosmetics is a brand that they do um, have, they do sell on their website um, that just has the most beautiful products. And this palette looks stunning. The artwork on the outside is just wow. Um, the full reveal will be Monday, so today as you're watching this, so it should be fully revealed um, by the time you're watching this. Um, I love the look of the palette, absolutely love the look of it. They've got a really nice aesthetic, it's all like beautiful artwork and there's so much detail in the products. Um, I haven't tried anything from them yet. I say yet because I fully intend to. Um, this palette is gorgeous. The outer packaging is what's pulling me in the most. I love those designs. But yes, the full reveal of that will be on Monday and I shall move on to... Shy Bear Cosmetics and they have a summer launch coming soon and this is volume 4 Pop City eyeshadow palette. Pop City was inspired by all of our favourite pop culture references and the era of 80s 90s arcades and neon lights kind of like Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Now 80s 90s that's my era so I'm excited already. Um, this palette is a 12 pan palette with mattes, shimmers and a new type of shimmer that is more shinier and super sparkly. That I find really interesting. 
really interesting. Um, Pop City was designed by the always talented um, A Sparrow's Lullaby. Um, and let's have a look at these references. So we have Flying Nimbus, Ponyo, Grogu, Tesseract, Dank Farrick, Dragon Ball, Why is Gamora, Dr. Manhattan, Chibusa, On Wednesdays, Jill Valentine and Neo Tokyo. The swatches look beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I, I'm intrigued by this new shimmer formula. Is this a brand that any of you have tried and if you have, let me know what the quality of their eyeshadows is like because it's this whole new type of shimmer um, that's caught my eye the most. The colour story definitely helps. The greens, blues and pinks, the yellow, orange, it's... Yeah, that's my kind of colour story. Um, so yeah, any information that you guys have on this brand and on their formula, please do let me know because I'm intrigued. Definitely intrigued. Um, is this something any of you guys are going to be picking up? Let me know. Let me know. So moving on, Otaku Metics. Otaku Metics? Otaku Metics. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I'm more than likely butchering it. Again, so sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm not very good at pronouncing things. Um, anyways, they have released their My Waifu Academia Manga Cover eyeshadow palette. Um, that is a mouthful. Um, this eyeshadow palette features 15 highly pigmented shades with a mixture of nine mattes, three shimmers and three glitters. It retails for $29.99 US dollars. It's super cute. It's not anything I don't have already. I love the artwork, love the artwork of the outer packaging. Um, that always draws me in, always. Um, this is really, really cute. I haven't tried anything from Otaku Metics before. Um, let me know if you have and what you think of this colour story. I can definitely see all of the colours from the outer packaging in the colour story. And I think that's fantastic. Yeah, let me know what you think of this. I'm, I'm definitely interested in the brand. I do have my eye on them. So uh, yes, definitely on my radar. Um, so moving on, we have Black Moxie Cosmetics and they are launching their new Potion Eyeshadow Palette. It is a 12 pan with shades of a grungy colour story mix. There are mattes, shimmers and multichromes. This is interesting. Um, it will be priced at $28.99. That's US dollars and it will be available for pre-order on June the 5th at 12 p.m. EST. Yeah I'm intrigued by this. Um, I wouldn't say the colour story particularly speaks to me. There's a few shades in there. That red, the red looks extremely interesting and then uh, it looks like there's a couple of uh, multichromes in there. That interests me also. Let me know if you guys have anything from this brand already um, or if you're going to be picking this up. But yeah, this is beautiful. I do love the uh, the picture with the kind of purple background and you've got the, the little candle lamp. I love artistic photos like that. While it's not particularly helpful with uh, seeing what the colours truly look like. I do appreciate the uh, artistic side of it. Um, so I have pressed, yes, I have pressed. <laughs> so yes, 
let me know what you think of this uh i'm i'm intrigued by the brand so next up i have the reveal of the creature cosmetic labs ripped from the 90s palette um oh, i love the look of this i love it the names as well scream you've got it blair witch candy man x file oh, i love it oh what's this randy's rules to surviving a horror i haven't got my glasses on a horror move face sculpt palette yeah, I've probably got that wrong. I haven't got my glasses on. I shouldn't really be attempting to read small writing without my glasses. The eyeshadow palette looks gorgeous. Um, let's see what it says here. Oh, there's three new items coming soon. This is where it's going to tell me what I was trying to read, isn't it? Of course. So there is the 12 pan main VHS palette. <gasps> I love that. Um, there's a six pan face sculpting Randy's Rules palette and three ripped from the 90s faux lashes. I I love this. This is a collection that I I am so interested in. Oh my word, is that phone the box for the lashes? I'm oh I'm pretty sure that the the box it looks like the uh, one of the old Nokia phones. I'm pretty sure that is the case for the lashes. This is a collection that has caught my eye. I'm definitely interested. And Creature Cosmetic Labs is a brand that I have had my eye on um, more recently. So yes, definitely keeping my eye on these i don't have a price here for anything so you'll find the website link in the description box so yes i am going to move on and i am left with just one launch to talk about um i'm so excited for this one because i actually do have it here it arrived is it yesterday i want to say yesterday or the day before I, I want to say yesterday anyways the blood moon eyeshadow palette from ve cosmetics as soon as this went live i was on it and uh, yes i do have this in my possession and trust me when i say she looks even more beautiful in real life um i mean the picture just looking at the picture she looks beautiful the colors i love that you've got so many of those deeper tones because there's so many palettes that are missing that depth and to have a fully matte palette with this kind of depth i think it not only will be good as a standalone palette but also to bring in with other palettes i think it's going to be a really good all-rounder i'm so excited to try it um i will be trying it this week so i don't know if the video will be up this week or that will be next week um i have so many videos to film it is unreal and yeah there's only one of me and this one me doesn't always um isn't always well enough to uh to do anything <laughs> but i i do my best and I will do my best to have that video up either this week that we're in now, or the, as you're seeing this, or the following week. Now, V Cosmetics is a brand that I am super, super excited by. It's a UK indie brand, which is very handy for me because I'm in the UK. Um, she does offer clear pay now, which is amazing. For anyone that's waiting on payday like waiting for payday to order and you might miss things because of because of that um, but yes there's clear pay available 
on the site now. I do have the Lovers palette in my collection, um, the previous new release. Um, I have the Vixen in my box of shame ready to try and I have the Green Witch and I love, I love the Green Witch. Love, love, love. Just completely and utterly in love with that palette. Um, that's really rude. Stop beefing your horn. Um, so let me just read what it says to you here. So it's our brand new eyeshadow palette consists of 12 beautifully pigmented matte shadows in a variety of reds, purples and pops of grey to add some smoke to the colour story. If this formula is the same as that of the Green Witch, I'm going to be a very happy Steph. Um, very, very happy Steph. I'm so excited to try it. And what a beautiful new release. The outer packaging on this one too is impressive. Super impressive. I'm just in love. So yeah, I think that is all we have to talk about. Let me just double check that I have not skipped anything here. So yeah, that is everything I wanted to talk about this week. So I think it's a bit of a shorter one this week. Um, but there's some really exciting launches amongst that. So as always, if you do spot any new launches or sneak peeks throughout the, the week that you would like me to mention in the next upcoming new releases and sneak peeks, please do tag me in the post um, or pop me a DM um through instagram get hold of me one way or another and just let me know um because i'd be more than happy to add those in and chat about those two if they're not already on the list so yes if you do see anything um that you would really like talked about make sure you do either tag me in it or pop me a dm because i'm not tech savvy and i I do miss a lot of these launches and then I'll be watching um, uh, new releases videos from some of my friends here on YouTube and I think, oh, how did I miss that? And so yes, if you guys spot anything that you think I may have missed, then let me know. So that is it for this week's new releases and sneak peeks. Um, as always, thank you so much for joining me. If you've liked this video, please do give it a like, thumbs up, it really helps me out. If you are a lover of really colourful makeup looks, indie brands, just general chit chat about makeup, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. It would be so wonderful to have you on board too. Um, yes, I shall leave you all in peace now. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.